Hello everybody, Slimothy here. Today we're going to be watching X-Men First Class. I'm so excited to get into this. After watching X-Men Origins Wolverine, I needed this. I'm watching this the day after. <sighs> if you didn't watch my other video, I basically said that I lost the recording for it. And I was deeply saddened by it. Pretty much what happened was... I thought my camera was on the whole time recording my reaction, but it, it really wasn't, and that really just ruined my whole my whole day, pretty much. But here we are. This is probably my most anticipated film since the first one that we watched. I've been very excited to get into this one. Because I'm just curious to see where this one goes, you know. Um, I see a younger cast. I see a young James McAvoy. I see a Michael Fassbender, two great actors. And I see Jennifer Lawrence, Kevin Bacon. I'm very excited to get into this. My journey so far with X-Men has been great. I've, I've just adored these characters. I've adored this world. I'm excited to see where they take the X-Men in this film I wonder if it's gonna be more of the same which is gonna be great because I love the political the body horror the emotional drama between the X-Men that the first three movies capitalized so well on and I wonder I'm wondering if it ties in with the other three that's my main draw for me is I'm I'm just eager to see how how or if or anything relates to the original three films slowly x-men are becoming my favorite team in marvel right up there with the avengers you know you got the young avengers you got a bunch of like task force teams task force s is dc you have, like the midnight suns you have the thunderbolts as a team another team i'm hoping this one lives up to the same standard of the first three. Maybe it's even better than the first three. I don't know. Man, guys, I'm very excited. I uh, It's been a while since I've been this excited for a film to get into. And I just want to show up. And let's just get right into it. Now. Well, you know what would be a good idea? Let's turn my headset on so I can hear. Here we go. Iconic Marvel. We got some sinister, eerie music. I think I start off with the villain. Oh, never mind. Some Magneto. Okay, right off the bat, this looks just like the scene from the original X Men. If he starts moving, yeah. They had to be connected then, huh? Okay, that's exciting. Or am I ex or am I watching the first X Men? Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> turned on the wrong one. I thought you were a burger. I didn't a burger. She was getting a burger. A young mystique. You're hungry and alone. A young Charles. Take whatever you want. A very deaf. have got lots of food. You is. don't have to steal. Interesting. So Charles comes from a lot of money. Make sure you don't, you know what, in your pants. Nothing's impossible. That's one creepy, uh, medical office I'm going to open. They're going to force him to use his powers. Alice is good. Try. What a terrible thing it is. My god. Yeah! Wunderbar! Now, what you think was gonna happen after you kill somebody's mom? Oh wow. What a title, title card. It's one way to start the movie. Michael Fassbender is such a great actor. He's conveying so much emotion just on that blank face. It's a 
determined man right there. James, right. boy, such a great mutation. He looks so young in this. I just seen him in a Speak No Evil. The effects on her face, makeup, if only. prosthetics. Top notch work right there. Hey, this looks like a channel film too, but I could be wrong. But it looks great. Blue. How do you say it like that? Like, blue. Uh, yes, you are. Oh, man. Look at that reflection off, off his face. The gold. It's great. Great camera work. It's just as brutal as this one as the other ones. Oh, the music is going. Matching the scene very well. The score is great. I'm not familiar with this mutant. It's kind of a cold power. I mean, what if I was able to like just make a little little baby tornadoes? I'm not too familiar with Emma Frost either as a character. I know who she is, but genetic mutation. Not too familiar the with evolution. her character origins or anything like that. Ah, we don't want the colonel to be late. Whoa, who's that? Charles. Charles. Xavier. Could be called a professor until you actually have a teaching position. I know, but it suits you. Well, don't say that. Do say. Let's go have a drink. Though. Let's go. I'm have absolutely a loving the chemistry between them two, though. It's great so far. For me, the chemistry in the first three was between Logan and Rogue, and look, it's looking like um, Charles and Steak right now. They have a really great chemistry. Schneider. Wasn't Michael Fassbender in Glorious Bastards? That one scene. I don't know why it just clicked for me right now. He was great. Your name was already weggenommen. Schweinebauern. And Schneider. Man, this this music with Magneto, I love it. It's kind of like a guitar riff in the back, kind of. It makes the scene feel so tense. Man, I'm already loving Magneto on this. Oh my god. <laughs> that badass line. Two polar opposite plot points for the two. This dude's on a revenge plot, and then this guy's just chugging beers, having a grand old time. Oh, what You're kind of goddamn of mutant is he? Very astute of you, Colonel Landry. You want to guess what, what I can the do? Hell? I've got the power to absorb energy. Like, what in the God's name is going on in here? But I, I cannot take you anywhere else. Without permission from upstairs. Would you like to see? I'm loving the direction this movie's going so far. Man, he's like a. He's so determined. Herr Doctor. Also, the kleine Eric Lindsay. He's here to kill you. You're on your team, Magneto. Don't harm our own god. Something like the X-Men. Which are the strongest, man? Well, I think so. Well, he's not in his prime yet, though. Get inside. Man, the effects are just as good. If not better than the original. Man. Production values. Through the roof. 
Man, whoever worked on this score did a phenomenal job. And from there, the relationship was created. Ooh, I messed with that car. It's slick. Something like that. Marvelous. I understand that reference. Are the special new recruits I was telling you about? This is Hank McCoy, one My of God, our most talented young researchers. How wonderful! Another mutant already here. Oh my God! What's his name? Nicholas Holt. Splendid. He has monkey feet. He has hands for feet. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wish I could do that. I wish I could be smart and have like hands or feet. Oh, Magneto's helmet. We chill on that um. I promised myself. For the solitude. Get the get the hint, Hank. Station of printed out Is here. Is that gonna act kind of like Cerebro? Yeah. Yeah. What an adorable lab rat. All this for me, right? Yep. Oh. Man, this music. Can't stop gushing over it. Government won't with a guy like Alex Summers. Hope you're not Alex Summers. On with others. Oh. Crazy, huh? I love what? aquariums. Hmm? I love you tanks. like fish? I have my own 20 gallon. It's my dream to have a saltwater tank. I have a freshwater set up right now. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. How's it going, Hugh? You? Fuck yourself. <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> we have common enemies. Sure, the Russians. They need us. For now. Such an iconic duo. Magneto. Charles. I called it. Whoa! I'm way more mistaken. Oh, more fish tanks. A little fresh water tank. <laughs> Got some guppies. Some planets. Oh, that's a nice planet tank. Oh, that's pretty cool. Summers. Scott Summers. Get down when I That's pretty cool. What kind of wizardry is that? So we got a show. I don't understand how exactly what he did there. They like, I don't know. Nice trick. It's a good one. It's a good trick. You're never going to get anything from me while I'm like this. Oh, she has to be in that form to get... to prevent people from talking to her? Almost killed her. Trying to start a nuclear war. Trying to take a mutant takeover. Mutant army. Yeah, I think there's a attack going on at the base. I want to check that out. Man, right, come on. I need to help a little bit. Oh man, this guy's pretty powerful. Jesus. Good evening. My name is Sebastian Shaw. Well, Sebastian, and I am nice to meet you. Yeah, that sounds pretty uh, appetizing, though. No? God damn you, Angel. Something. Okay, absolutely obliterated. My goodness. To well, me, my X Men. All of us. A little training montage, please. Please, please. We will have no choice but to retaliate with a full nuclear response. A full nuclear response. Do we agree? Line. Well, I'll be damned. Charles Xavier's house. School. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't shoot anybody point blank. My man, my do friend. it. Oh, come on. You know I can. 
Oh, my stepfather took the possibility of nuclear war energy. quite serious. That's reassuring. Oh. What's that? All at once, buddy. With Ashley gets. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Man, CGI. <laughs> Looks good though. I love a good training montage. Still a bozo. You can move it, man. Come on, man, move it. He had such a terrible childhood. Very beautiful memory, Eric. Thank you. But even in the darkness, there is some light. Oh wow. Mutant and proud. Mm -hmm. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Peace was never an option. Mm -hmm. This is where the divide starts with them. I'll do it, man. You're gonna regret it. Oh. oh no. I hope he doesn't die. Did he turn into a beast? Oh my god, why didn't I think about that? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> it didn't click for me at all. Do we really Sweet have to up there's none of us mutated to endure extreme G force or be like the colors. That's what I think what was missing in the first three, like that that yellow. Those close suits. I'm here. Hello, beast. And enhance them. I don't know how I feel about it. It didn't the, work. The prosthetics. Yes, it did, Hank. Costume design. Mmm. I'm not feeling it. Oh, no. Target ready to be fired upon, sir. It's gonna be a war. Stand by to fire. Looks pretty messy out there. I don't like how they did the voice here. It sounds like ADR or something. A little voiceover. Mmm. I don't know how I feel about Beast. Like, what did you do? We're moving to a backup plan. He's gonna take that helmet as a trophy. Come on. You got it. Look at that acting. Just that straight facial acting. Man, somebody take this guy out. Dude pisses me off. Take his hand. No, there goes. God, I can't get over how be ugly Beast looks. You didn't have to turn bad, man. Could have helped. Could have been on the right side of the fight. Surprise. Eric! Eric! Come on, man, you've been waiting for this. Damn. Man, what a unique. Unique um, final fight um, setting. Put the rings. This is all happening because of your design, sorry. You, Eric? I never did. I want to help you. This is our... Eric, kind of like an anti-hero. Everything you did made me stronger. Characters are so deep. 
And Michael Fassbender is doing a great job portraying him. Oh, don't do this, Eric! Man, he killed his mom. Three. Oh my god. Do it. Oh, what a transition. What a shot. Video is now in full form. Fire! I'm going! Oh my god, it sounds terrible. And he doesn't do that one thing. He's gonna cover him with that electric field thing. Said yourself, we're the better. This is the time to prove it. Prove you better. That's how he gets paralyzed. No around. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I said back off. Not you, beast. You can just go fuck off in the woods. You. Who's enjoying them? Mystique, the red guy, tornado guy. Mutant. Amen. I'm proud. Now you beast though. Just go away. Just go. I can't feel my legs. Daredevil would say, I can't see. I can't see. You know. That chair. One day the government is gonna realize how lucky they it's were. Nice chair right there. Linda. I lost your legs, but you got the girl at the end. Is no place for a woman. Hey man, that's just... <laughs> what the hell? Oh, Kate flapping. I know we've had our differences. Oh my god, look at that. Matthew yeah, Vaughn. Good job. Well, there we have it. X Men First Class. All I want to say is it lived. All I want to say is it did live up to my hype. What a great one. I honestly am going to say I think it's my second favorite. I'm going to say that right now. Yep. Right behind X2. I think this is my second favorite. Man, this one was a good one. I absolutely loved Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy. Phenomenal, phenomenal casting choices for both of them. Uh, especially Michael Fassbender. Man, he's such a great actor. Like I was saying in the reaction, he can convey so much emotion just through his face, his facial features, what he's expressing. You can feel the anguish, the hate, the sadness. Oh. And like all the other films, I believe this one was shot as on film too. It looked great. Look visually looked stunning. And way better than X Men. Uh, I mean X Men Origins Wolverine. Um, I don't know what about that film, but it looked dirty, it looked nasty. I don't know. It looked blurry, but this one's just back to the true form. Nice crisp film, beautiful colors, accompanied by an amazing score. Especially whenever I don't know if that's Magneto's theme. Whenever that. Then intense music begins when he's doing something sinister or very intense. That and all the other pieces during the action scenes, somber scenes, eerie scenes were all great. The, all, the overall scope of the film was pretty pretty large. It had a lot of moving parts, but everything felt like it came together well. Everything was carefully calculated 
constructed to fit into this nice little gift of a movie. It had some great comedy moments to relieve some of the more intense moments in the movie. I feel I feel like this was a very emotional movie, especially for Magneto, his redemption and the overall just setting the balance for the world and how ultimately we got to the point where we see the divide between Charles and Magneto. Though Magneto has good intentions, he goes about it in a more anti-hero-esque manner where he wants to just rid the world of people in a way or at least make X, the mutants central to society and want them to just thrive without the feeling of human hate this thing hate he doesn't want them to be enslaved you know like he was when he was younger and what happened to his mother ultimately shaped how he is today let's talk about the elephant in the room um beast design i was not a big fan of it i'm just gonna say that we're gonna move past this right okay i thought like nicholas holt was a good choice though did a good job okay I'm excited to see where this where this goes, you know. Um, I honestly don't know. I I see the next film in, within these three movies is Days of Future Past, and um, we'll see where that story leads to. I'm excited. I think after this one, Days of Future Past is my most anticipated movie, and I've heard nothing but great things about it, and I'm. I'm so eager to watch it. I hope to see you guys then. But first, we're going to have to watch a Wolverine 2013, I believe. The Wolverine. Um, gonna watch, we're going to watch that first before we get into Days of Future Past. But until then, please leave a like and subscribe. And please enjoy any other content that I have created and will create. Thank you.